All right, it's music making time. Are you ready for some music, my friends? Please, clap loud, make some noise. Let's welcome them to the Bloodworks Live studio. Matt Costa, everybody. Clap faster and louder, if you can, please. song first. That's Matt Costa playing their hearts out for you right about now. Thanks for being here, everyone. Thank you. Why don't you tell us who your friends are, Matt? Who's playing in the band today? All right. And your favorite, and, and then also like your favorite thing about that person. Gosh. Okay. Yeah. A little pressure. This is Jared. On Hi, the Jared. Bass. He's All right. to my he's to my right. And uh, my favorite thing about Jared is that he's a uh, He's the most spiritual person in the band. They're all very spiritual not for different reasons, but he takes it to the, a deeper level. So that's one of, that's, that's one of my favorite things about him. You know, it's hard to pick just one about all these guys. Um, and so 
Corey Gash is on the drums over there. Hey, and, and one of my favorite things about Corey is that um, all and say I can say it about all the guys, you know, all these things. But um, Corey is one of the go. Uh, not only is he my drummer, but he's also one of my best friends. And not a lot of people can say that. Um, you get a lot of bands, you could just hire anyone. But he's a great drummer and a great friend, and so he's been really uh, he's been really influential into my uh, to my music because he has a studio that he built among other things that he builds really passionately, and um, we spent a lot of time there. It was a big part of growth in my music and and together as friends. So um, I appreciate his passion. And uh, this is Fred over here on the keys. My favorite thing about Fred is that um, he can rock a bonnet like no other. <laughs> And he's an incredible jazz musician. Um, and this is Brandon on the guitar. He's the he's the latest addition to the uh, to the band. But uh, he's so I'm just getting to know him. But I think that my uh, my favorite thing about him that I've seen is his fearlessness uh, in um, just in life. And so he's got a zest for life. And I think you have to really fearlessly put yourself into. Uh, thrust yourself into these um, into situations and uh, I asked him to to come in this situation and he uh, came in and, and killed it so his fearlessness I think is what I appreciate about him the most give him a round of applause for that That's a... sorry I didn't mean to put you on the spot no that's great I, I mean I don't get to say I don't it's really hard to take them aside one like by themselves and tell them that so it's nice to have a platform right? to do it on right and I'm sure like life on the road and every minute together and sometimes it's, it's, it's you got to remember the, the good things and what you like about these people that you're spending so much time with. All right. It, so, you're 100% right. Yeah. Matt Costa played uh, at the Doug Fur last night. Would you go, like, how would you rate that show? Was it like Spinal Tap and, and the Puppet Show or was it like Freddie Mercury and Queen at, at Live Aid? Like in between there, wh where would you rate it? Um, oh wow! Well, oh, let's just give you a number, one to ten. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Queen. Queen at Live Aid. Yeah, that is correct. That is the correct answer. To Queen, I think, is probably gonna be better. So, Santa Rosa Fangs is the brand new album uh, that Matt put out. He worked really hard on it. You should applaud him for making the record. <laughs> just, just tell him to tell him the clap uh. is the key. Thank you. But it came out just a couple months ago, and you're, I don't know, you've probably, it's been under your wings for a long time, yeah. um, but you're just settling into it being out into the world. How is it feeling? How is it un unsettling, I guess you could say, as you take it out there live and to the people? Well, it's unraveling. Yeah. You know, a record sort of unravels. When you first make it, you, you know, it's uh, a lot of people probably say it, but, and I've heard people say it, but you really have no sort of real judgment or context of what it is once you spent so much time on it right when you finish it but taking it out on the road and and then also distancing yourself from it a little bit and getting to play the songs live um, night after night you really start to feel what the songs mean mm -hmm. on a on a bigger level or, or you know once they exist in real life and they're good songs to play alive because I feel like they really have this energy that it can sort of get into sort of a tap into the ether with them yeah and that's the goal so it's been like that well that one that you just played sharon we've been playing it and every time we play it i just i continue to turn it up it sounds great man thanks and it sounds great on our kink radios so we have this moment together we have uh we have music we have people we have an experience that is music how would you say that music unites uh you or people in your life Music uniting us. Yeah, yeah, music. Well, I think, well, it's brought all of us people here together in this room. It's brought me closer to all these individuals in my band. And um, it also, um, uh, I think, it's the same thing. We all have a heartbeat and we all have like rhythms that follow us throughout our lives, um, whether it's our footsteps, our heartbeats, the sound of a train, the sound of your car going over the bumps in the road. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, everywhere you look, we're united by, by rhythms, and rhythm is the backbone to all, uh, to music. If you don't have rhythm, even you can have the most harmonic thing. I mean, I guess you could go, you could go without rhythm for a little while, but essentially, <laughs> rhythm brings the band together, rhythm brings us all together. So, um, it's a long-winded answer, but that's it. Yeah. The rhythm of our lives. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, we appreciate you ending. taking time out for us today right here, Matt. And, and you guys, thank you for bringing everybody in and bringing all your gear in and, and rocking the place. One more time for Matt Costa, my friends. Um, we should do... Uh, well, oh, let's do phosphorescent letter. Okay. This song was inspired by... Um, well, I, I, there's, a, there's a story within the record that I wrote, but I pulled from real life experiences and people and then put them into, put their stories into the characters. And this one had to do with, um, uh, the, speaking of being united through music, at the record store down in Southern California, there's one called Fingerprints. And, um, and so the owner of that shop, he's been a real, he's been a real kind, kind soul and been really supportive of, of my music and every, I think everyone in this, um, in this room or in our band's music separately. And so he had a daughter who had this relationship with a with someone that was on the other side of the on the other side of the world, and and it was because how tech, I realized how technology we're able to have these long distance relationships, and we're emotionally investing in these long distance things through cyber cyberspace, and how much emotion we're actually putting into that part of um, life. And so, but even though it's it doesn't really. Um, that's all cyber, cyber love. Uh, there's still real emotions behind all that stuff, and this is sort of a coming to terms with that. So, here you go. What has she found a thousand miles from home? An idea chastity to put her faith into That precious week we spent as tourists in each other's arms I long for that precious week we spent with seagulls in the Watson Bay I'll write you in phosphorescent Long-distance relationship The seven masked sails Jealousy on the horizon Distance 
I remember when you were a mess Said we'd look back then on our love is You had an in the bush and you Crying in your cup I picked you up Just up 
and stumble on the same path Are you afraid of love? Cause it might just catch you A little of God and a little out of breath Afraid of love coming out the wrong time I'm not the one to say it's not your kind There you go. There you go. We're now united in this room with this moment. Thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate you guys taking time out for us today. One more time for Matt Costa. It was a pleasure. I love all of you. I mean, I know we're united, but come on, Matt. <laughs> hey, so Matt's agreed to hang out with us and uh, meet us and greet us. I didn't say get up yet, mister. Just sit down. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really like me. I'm sure it'd be harder to notice. <laughs> I know. Did you say bless you to somebody that sneezed in the middle of that song? Is that what I caught up there? Yeah, it's a dangerous thing. Sneezes. Like, Gazoon tight would have been a little. Yeah. All right. So I Matt's think, gonna I go. Think, I had to think fast. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and actually, Kazoon tight wouldn't. It would, just wouldn't have sounded right in this. No, song. no, you're right. That would have been a different song in another moment. Yeah, but I do have a song where I have a kazoo. Uh, so I could have done that, but united with the kazoo tight. <laughs> Jeez Louise. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I'm not going to go into a comedy, I promise you. <laughs> Santa Rosa Fangs is the album that you should own if you don't yet. Um, I don't know if you guys brought albums with you to hang out. Okay, great. All right, so they're going to go get a timeout. Not that they're in trouble. We're going to let them come down from that musical high, and then we'll bring them back out uh, for meeting and greeting. Sound good? We'll meet. We'll greet. That's it. That's it. That's it. Matt Costa, everybody. <laughs> Fridays are better, aren't they? But when you're on the road and you're in a band, what? they don't know from Friday, from Monday, right? <laughs>